good evening and good night welcome back to my channel today's video is on lot sprinkles and hair jewelry these are the colors and tools i have purchased from ac moore's and joanne's fabric lot sprinkles um i'm not sure where the idea came from honestly my homegirl who is in the chair had brought it to me and was like yo can we do this i'm like let's try it <laughs> so this is how i installed her lot sprinkles and i know my lighting ain't that great y'all i'm a living ghetto fabulous so here i'm 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 trying we're gonna upgrade eventually but hey so this is how i decided to do it this thread blends in with her locks very well so i figured I can just pretty much install it by spacing them out how I like to space them and then stitch them in. And so I know you can't see it that great here, but towards the end of the video, I also did it on my locks. So you can see the difference because as some of you know, my hair is still gray. So with it being a little bit lighter, maybe you could see a little bit better. But basically, I just put it all in on the lock as such. And then I lay it out how I want to loop them in. And I just wrap the thread through the lock and around the bead. Because I had a double thread, you know, so I loop it around the bead and move on to the next one so on and so forth <clears throat> the black thread blends in with her locks very well so it's not a problem for it to hide um and her locks are mature towards the end because she has a uh, lock extensions mine are baby locks so it'd be a little bit different when i go to install mine but hers i just see it like this
Alright, so there you go. And we just twirl them out a little bit more. She didn't have a specific way of how to put it in. She's like, whatever, dog. Just, you know, I just wanted to be a little cluster. You do your thing. So, and this is how I clustered them. So, you can see a little bit closer. And she's like, ooh, bling, you know. Nothing major, just a couple here and there. That's what she wanted, so. There you have it. That is how I installed her lock jewelry. Um, yeah, I don't think it looked too shabby. She liked it, I liked it, and that's all that matters. Boom. Moving forward to the gray locks. Lord, these scissors so ghetto. I gotta get a new pair. Don't judge me. So, I'm gonna add one more bead to one of my locks. And when I choose a spot to put my locks, I just randomly pick a spot. It's really not that big of a deal, you know. I don't plan on leaving them in long. They'll be in just long enough for me to be cute until my next, um wash and retwist and if you want to see how I color my hair you can check one of my previous videos on hair wax hair color wax so yeah um, I'm just pick a spot put this little bead on and uh, I'll show you how I do that I'm basically just gonna take thread through the bead one more time just to get that extra security and then pretty much loop the thread back through the lock a few times to secure it in and whatever thread is missed while I'm trying to do this I'll just pretty much tie it in a knot and trim it down to where you can't see the ends See all this extra. I'm just going to tie that in a knot with the rest of the thread. It's really not going to be a big of a deal, I promise you. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to tie that up and call it a day. And there you have it so that is pretty much my video on hair jewelry lock jewelry and lock sprinkles I think it's all cute I'm gonna continue to route my journey as is thank you all for watching come back again mm -hmm. like subscribe all that good stuff share tell a friend tell a friend yes ma'am I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yes. I'll check out on a later tip. Peace.